we are on our way to 76 Conservation Area. The small community of 76 originated as a river landing for steamboats on the Mississippi River. An immigrant from England, John Wilkinson, became the largest landowner in 76 after his riverboat, the Laurel, sank. He started a business hauling wood to the steamboats. 76 had a church, school, general store, a stockyard, saloon, hotel, post office, and train depot. Following numerous floods and a sharp decline in river transport, the community disappeared. 76 Conservation Area was purchased in 1990 when a private landowner decided to sell his land to the Missouri Department of Conservation. We are so excited to be at 76 Conservation Area. 76 Conservation Area is 818 acres out of Fron, Missouri, coming from east from Interstate 55 and US 61. We are here on the banks of the Mississippi River. We will give you a full tour of this conservation area. Used to be a farm that the conservation department bought, bought in, 1990. in 1990. As you can see, there is a barge going behind us right now. We haven't quite set our camp up yet, but we do know we're staying here. Uh, we will be giving you pictures and video. And there is history involved with this. Used to be a little old town here over by the railroad tracks. We will show you it all. We have been here before, and that big rock pile, we did not know was there. The river is so low right now. There are a lot of people out here fishing. There's about four people behind us. As you can see, barge traffic is moving still. We're going to be here for the night. We can't wait. We just love this view. This is the camping area at 76 Conservation near Fraun, Missouri. There is site number one concrete table, barbecue pit, and a fire ring. Site number two, back end spot right there. And we got site number three, back in the woods. We're pretty excited. Dave backed that truck camper in here like a pro. Wait until you see our view tonight. I'm going to be reading in my hammock. And that is my view. Mississippi River is down. It's actually not too bad right here compared to some other places we've seen. We've been here about a half an hour, maybe an hour. We've had two barges come by so far. We have found our camping spot. Dave's getting solar hooked up. Camping for free on the banks of the Mississippi River. And it is beautiful. And we've been here about a half an hour and I can hear the second barge coming. This is gonna be a fun night. We think this is called a looper. Loopers are smaller boats that make a loop around the Mississippi River. Leave us a comment if you know. This little spring-fed creek is in our backyard. We're going to be hearing that tonight. We are so excited about this spot. Safety first. No leaf blower, use the solar panel box. Good job, Dave. It is so beautiful here. 
we got this spring water coming down. This one is turning around. If anybody knows why these barges are coming downstream, but then they're turning around to head upstream, leave us a comment. This is the third one that's done this. We're heading through the woods, trying to get to the farthest dike so that we can have an unobstructed view of stream and get video of one, two, three, four, four or five barges right in front of us. We just came off of that dike that we scurried over yeah. and where we're camping at. And that was a lot of work, wasn't it, Dave? Yep. Next time we're going to come down the river right away. Yeah, there's a little road work. We're walking back on, we learned. Uh, we scurried over rocks dead and trees. dead trees. Weeds. Weeds. Dave found a boot. I saw a glove. There's about six barges out there, right in front of our campground, but I wanted to get an unobstructed sunset view. Was it worth it, Dave? Yep. Okay, I'm yet to decide if it's worth it. I haven't seen the pictures yet. But we're well, about... To be running, get to the dock, get the he was running. We were afraid we were going to lose the sunlight, because it was taking me forever to scurry. I fell in a hole. But we have survived, and we're heading back to the camper, and we're going to sit in either our chairs or our hammock and enjoy the rest of the night. This is so amazing. There's two barges down there. This one is sneaking up. Beautiful lights. We have one already over there. We have one over there. We have one up there. And we're pretty sure there's one coming down. We have never seen anything like this. This is why we love camping on the Mississippi River. This is kind of backwards. We're saying goodbye from the 76 conservation area sign. So we have spent the night. Uh, Dave, what'd you think about all that barge traffic? All the barge traffic. One barge turned around the middle of the river and they all started about 4.30 this morning, started leaving the head, go back to work. Well, at one point last night, we had three barges parked across the way. Two barges were down south. And then two barges started creeping up the river with their lights off. About and 10 o'clock, 9, 10 o'clock. Yeah, so that was interesting. That was fun to watch. Yep. Yep. Uh, what would you think about the uh, water level? Oh, well, water level is lowest i ever seen. So. Yeah. Uh, Mississippi River is real popular right now. Everybody's coming out to see how low it is. Um, It's low. That's all we can say. But we did have a great night. It's beautiful here. 76 conservation area. Anything else, Dave? Like and subscribe if you want to. 
We'll see you on the road.